Hello everyone out there in the YouTubes. My name is Ominator and today I'm going to teach you how to build a computer. So, uh, before we even begin building the computer and everything and getting into all the cool things, we need to get some things out of the way. Which is why I have this fancy little notebook right here because I got all my notes, you know what I'm saying? So, a couple things. Uh, first of all, um, surely this is about building a computer and so on and so forth, but we're not going to cover uh, in great detail anyway uh, parts compatibility. And what I mean by that is you can't just buy a bunch of computer parts and slap them all together and expect it to work. You need to, you know, know what you're doing. So, uh, we're not going to cover all of those different uh, aspects because there are a lot of different variables uh, but you can research all of that on your own uh, but we will get into a little bit uh, for the specific, par specific parts that I've picked for this video. So, speaking of the parts that I've actually uh, picked for this video, we're gonna go over them uh, from 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 here to there some, some dilly do. So, these two fans right here I pulled from my old PC, they're 140 millimeter fractal design fans. Uh, so we're gonna slap those into the case. Uh, but yeah, keep them out of the way for now. Not not that far, but it's okay. Okay, and I pulled some hard drives from my old PC as well. We got a one terabyte, and we got another one terabyte, and then we got a 500 gig hard drive. Uh, and these are still in the hard, hard drive cages, so I'm just gonna unscrew those uh, at some point. Uh, thermal paste, you should get some of this. If you're gonna use the stock cooler on your processor, uh, you probably won't need thermal paste because they typically come with the thermal paste uh, already applied. Starting with the processor, this is an AMD F uh, the, the, the AMD FX. It's great. It's an 8350, 80, 80, mm, mm. it's an 8320E, <laughs> which is kind of the um, what, what would you say the e economy version? It's not an economy version because it's not. Well, it is actually cheaper, but the whole idea is that the E-series use less power than their non-E counterparts. So this is a 95 watt TDP uh, uh, CPU. It's gonna be great for overclocking uh, and it's gonna run really well with this CPU cooler right here, which is the uh, Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 3, which is a huge like dual tower with two fans on it and things and stuff. So we're gonna hopefully churn out a lot of extra performance uh, from the CPU with that. And of course, we're not going to use the stock cooler inside this box because nobody likes stock coolers. For RAM, we got uh, a dual channel kit of HyperX Fury. This is uh, 16 gigs of DDR3 memory. I believe it's uh, 1866 megahertz CL10 or something. I picked the white one because we're going with a black and white scheme here, which is awesome, uh, naturally. And for the graphics card, the big beast, we got the uh, GeForce GTX 970, specifically the ASUS Strix edition. Um, because one of the main parts, uh, one of the main ideas with this PC is that it has to be silent or at least quiet to some extent. Because I do voiceovers and I also record local bands here in my little studio. So I need a very low noise floor um, in the studio as I do things. Which is why I need a very quiet PC. Uh, and this particular graphics card has the feature of um, the, basically the fans on it stop spinning uh, when you're not doing anything uh, particularly intense for the computer. Uh, so it's gonna be completely silent when you're not gaming or doing stuff like that, which is awesome. Uh, the main OS is, uh, wait just a sec. Gonna go onto this SSD right here. Uh, this is Samsung 850 Evo, a 250 gig SSD. Quite a fast one. Uh, a good SSD, I guess. We'll, we'll, we, have, we, have, we have yet to find out if it's any good, but of course it is, because it's got good reviews and everything, so whatever. I also pulled uh, a Blu-ray drive from my old PC dusted it off, it looks pretty good. Optical drives aren't that, uh, you know, uh, common these days, but they are pretty nice if you have a lot of DVD media, like, uh, or, or CDs for that matter. Uh, video games, DVDs, CDs, whatever. I occasionally use mine, uh, so I want an optical drive. For the power supply, I also pulled this from my old PC. This is a Corsair HX 850. It's an 850 watt power supply that is 80 plus silver rated. So it's a very high quality power supply and it's also semi-modular. So you can see you can plug all your cables in there or rather you can plug just the cables in that you need, uh, which is excellent. Um, and this power supply is uh, a little overpowered for this particular build. 
but that just means it's going to run quieter, which is, of course, one of the uh, main purposes of the PC. The motherboard is going to be the Gigabyte 990FXA UD3. It's uh, kind of an all-black, cool-looking MOBO. Uh, the reason why I picked this one in particular is actually because it has a Firewire port on the back, uh, and I need that for my... Um, my sound card, and I didn't want to go out and buy like an external sound card because, or excuse me, uh, an external like Firewire interface card and shit. So I just want it all in the motherboard like I always have uh, had. So hopefully that's going to work nicely. Um, these are just extra cables, all the modular power supply stuff. It's like full of things you can plug in, so that's great. And lastly, just come over here, we have the... Uh, the Fractal Design Define R5 case, which is optimized for silence, and it has good airflow, and it looks fucking sweet. In this one in particular is the white version with the uh, window on the side. Uh, we'll be able to see all the cool parts inside the PC once it's all done, so it's gonna look great, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, wow, someone's having a fun time out there, and it's raining and everything. Again, we're not actually ready to build a PC just yet, because I'm teaching you how to build a PC, which also uh, essentially means, oh wait, I, before we move on to that, I just need to credit my brother here. Just come into the camera, just come in. This might, not that one, <laughs> just, just that one. Excellent, right there. There's my uh, little brother, he's helping me out filming this video uh, because my good friend Joe uh, bailed at the last moment because he forgets things very, very easily. Uh, so many thanks to my brother. This is uh, actually also Joe's camera. <laughs> but my, uh, my brother's operating it now. Uh, to uh, get some extra movement into everything, which you've noticed so far, hopefully. Uh, and I, I hope he's doing a good job. Probably is. <laughs> now, um, before you can build your PC, you need to pick a place to build it. And it is very, very important. Number one thing that you need to keep in mind, don't work in a room where there is carpet. You don't want carpet <laughs> on the floor, okay? Uh, yeah, there's a carpet over there, but that's far away. <laughs> it's all good. Um, I usually have like a green carpet here because uh, it's great for the acoustics and so on and so forth. But for computer building, what happens is like when you have your socks and you kind of rub those against the carpet, you create friction and then that creates static electricity that's going to be uh, stored inside of your body. And that static electricity wants to come out of your body. And it's going to do that as soon as you touch something that's more conductive than your body. Like for instance, a computer component. So if you have a lot of static electricity build up in your body and you touch for instance like the pins on the RAM here, uh, you could risk, it's pretty unlikely that it's going to damage the component or that's, that there's going to be enough current to do that, uh, but it is, it has been known to happen. So it's important that you work in an environment where you don't generate a bunch of static electricity that's going to be stored inside of your body. Before we begin, you're also going to need some tools. Um, some tools I recommend that you have around are um, regular Phillips screwdriver, you know, just uh, the standard size that we all know. Uh, this one is, I think this one is magnetic, is it? I hope so. I think it is. You want a magnetic one because uh, it's not going to damage your components and it will make uh, life a lot easier and you won't drop screws into your power supply and everything because that sucks. Trust me, you don't want to do that. <laughs> You're going to need a knife to open all your boxes, which we're going to get to in just a moment and it's going to be glorious. You need some snippers if you're going to do uh, cable management and stuff with zip ties. Um, so yeah, get one of those. And you might need a pair of pliers for something. I just have them around because why not. This right here is a USB thumb drive with a Windows 10 on it. So we're going to throw Windows 10 on my PC. On the new one when, it's, uh, when we're done building it. Um, but that's all you really need to do uh, before we can start building. And well, let's start building. <laughs> 